This is the Fujifilm X-T3 camera, the very first camera I ever talked about on this channel. Is it worth getting one today? Let's find out. Hi everyone, welcome to Pal the Tech. Today we're talking about the Fujifilm X-T3 camera. Released on September 6, 2018, the X-T3 was a major leap forward for Fujifilm and their X-Series line of cameras. Forget even the photography aspect, it was the video specs alone that blew me away. 4K video recording at up to 60 frames per second in a small, compact body with an APS-C sensor. Video rates of up to 400 megabits per second and 10-bit color. And it was also no slouch in the photography department either. Being able to shoot at burst modes of up to 30 shots per second, those awesome film simulations, good autofocus, dual SD card slots, and the incredible ergonomics of the body made this camera, the X-T3, something very special. In fact, there was a seven day period right after the announcement where my arm, the side of my arm, was actually red in spots and sore because I kept pinching myself because I just couldn't believe these specs. So it's 2022 now, and is the X-T3 still worth getting today? Well, my answer is a very hard yes on that, for a few reasons. The first is the price. You can currently pick up an X-T3 body for about $1,100. Now, Fuji has rebranded this camera into what they call now their Worldwide Edition. This is the same exact camera as the original X-T3, except they no longer include the wall outlet charger in the box. Other than that, it's the same camera. The amount of photo and video features that you get with a camera like this for $1,100 make it a truly great price point to take advantage of. Now, my second reason has to do with IBIS. The X-T3 and the X-T4 are very similar cameras with the exact same sensor, ISO ranges, lens mounting systems, and similar autofocus capabilities. However, the X-T4 is $400 more more than the X-T3. $400 is a lot of money. And so what is it that you're getting for that extra $400? Well, mostly IBIS. That's the biggest reason for the increase in price between the X-T3 and the X-T4. And yeah, the X-T4 also has a larger battery with longer battery life and a fully articulating screen. <laughs> we'll get back to that in a second. Now, if you're not entirely sure what IBIS even is, or if you need it, then I don't think that the lack of IBIS should be a determining decision on whether or not to get a specific model of a camera. Also, if you have no problem carrying these extra batteries around with you and and you can live without the extra battery life, then this is a no-brainer. The X-T3 and the X-T4 are so similar in terms of features that the price difference of $400 becomes even more significant. My third reason has to do with the flip-out ergonomics of the LCD screen on the X-T3. If you're the type of photographer that shoots mostly weddings, events, or any type of photography where you're holding the camera up like this or way down, right, and you want to be able to have your screen where you can hold the camera above your head higher up and view right straight up through the viewfinder or hold it down low right like this say you're a street photographer you're holding the camera kind of like this and you want to look straight down at the LCD screen, then the X-T3 is the camera for you. Now, that being said, I personally, personally love the X-T4's flip-out screen, and I will never go back to a camera that doesn't have an articulating screen. But yeah, I must admit, there are times I miss being able to have an LCD screen that is more properly and better aligned with the shooting axis of the lens. The whole LCD, to flip or not to flip, is all about compromises and what is most important to you. My final recommendation for recommending the X-T3 in 2022 is my biggest reason of all, and I think it's going to surprise a lot of you, and that is that I believe the X-T3 to be the single best camera that you can get for someone who wants to learn the fundamentals of photography. Someone who wants to move away from taking photos on a smartphone and instead get into learning to use a professional professional mirrorless camera, interchangeable lenses, and the important photography concepts that deliver good photos. And what's the most important concept of all? 
the exposure triangle. There is no better camera models on earth to help understand the exposure triangle and how each part of it, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO, all play together, and on the X-T3, this all comes down purely to ergonomics. Here you perfectly have each part of the hole separate and on its own dial. You can visually distinguish and feel the differences between each one and how each of them affect the other as you learn more and more about the exposure triangle while using the camera. You know something? Back in 2007, Apple executives stood on stage and said that the new iPhone with widescreen touch controls can actually make you touch your music as you swipe through your playlists. Well, the X-T3 can actually make you feel your exposure settings with the dials and the ergonomics. And while you can also learn on just about any other camera, including the X-T4, when you factor in the price, the features and what this camera has from a design standpoint, is it still worth getting in 2022? Absolutely. So there you have it. One of the best mirrorless cameras ever released in history is priced at $1,100. Fujifilm is still making the X-T3. It's not been discontinued even in 2022, and it's definitely a camera that is just as worthy today as it was the day that it came out. So what do you think of the X-T3? Well, let us know in the comments below. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found the video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I will see all of you this Friday in a brand new video. Take care.